today's another battle. Sometimes I'm winning, sometimes I won't, I won't admit that I'm losing. But it's a struggle. It's a constant struggle. Today I want to keep loving and keep cherishing the moment. This is Lauren Hill's season. Although it comes too soon, she understands its schedule. Maybe not how long it lasts, but what it means. I've just always wanted to step out on a college court, looking down at my shoes, stepping out on that wooden floor, and feeling the vibration of the crowd. It's just what I've dreamed. Victory is just making sure she's upright, she gets to walk on that court. That's a victory. One, two, three, go! Typically, the Division III Mount St. Joseph Lions season starts near the end of November, but this season will begin earlier. For the freshman with the earplugs and dizzy spells, the one who is playing while she is dying. There's two things she wanted from us, and that was to be a college student and play in a college basketball game. My real role and responsibility was to make her achieve this goal of hers and help her complete the mission. Lauren committed to play for the Mount last year on her 18th birthday. Weeks later, playing her senior season for Lawrenceburg High in Indiana, she felt slow, dizzy, occasionally numb. In November, she received the diagnosis. I was told that it was an operable brain tumor. She said two years at best. And I just remember that hitting home, like, wow, two years, like two Christmases. They say they're survivors. I don't consider two years surviving. Ten years, maybe. Two years is not surviving. With the hope for a miracle, she played her senior season. The miracle didn't come, but a purpose did. To live, to speak, to play for all the children with cancer who can't. Pediatric cancer is just, it's underfunded. And I remember being in an appointment and my doctor saying that pediatric brain cancer needed a face. That's kind of why I'm going after this game, because that's been my goal. We thank you for the example of community support Her family and community support her. But with the tumor, each day, each hour, magnifies and differs. After her latest MRI this fall, her life expectancy was shortened to December. As like the tumor progresses and I'm losing feeling in the side and my joints are hurting, and knowing that there's nothing that they can do, that's the hardest. <laughs> All they can do is give me more steroids and help me through the death process. And that's the hardest. That's why I'm at that's why I'm at my lowest point now. And that's why now so many have come together to lift her as the day arrives game day. Today means something so much bigger than what I can even understand. To me it means my first college game. Not my last one, my first college game.
to a 10,000 seat arena in Cincinnati that sold out in less than an hour. They've all come to see one girl in one game. We've been blessed. We've been blessed with her on our team. We got one heck of a teammate right here. And now we gotta finish her dream and her mission to play in a collegiate basketball game. And we're gonna help her do that. Never give up. Never give up. Three. One, two, three. Never give up. Atta girl. We're walking out two by two. And a five foot eleven freshman forward from Greendale, Indiana, number twenty two. Tumor, the cancer, the fear, were an encore. She was. This is Lauren Hill's season, and when it arrived, she wasn't done. She was playing. Today was the best day I've had probably in my entire life. Today, I wanted to play basketball, and that's what I did.